show going, we're going to welcome your next comic to the stage. Give it up for Heather James. Thank you. It's actually uh, taken me years to learn how to look like a straight woman. <laughs> you know, the hair, the makeup, the outfit, but inside, 100% tomboy. I used to love falling off my skateboard and tombstoning my little brother. And my Barbies, my Barbies didn't walk down the aisle. They shaved their heads and fought to the death. <laughs> I've done all the girly things, you know, the waxing and the plucking and the shaving. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I've also tried that men in black treatment when you're supposed to like zap your hair follicles into forgetting how to grow. <laughs> and I still remember my first black chin hair. Anybody else? Yeah. <laughs> Scared the bejesus out of me. I was like, holy crap, how long has this been here? Because, like, I only noticed it because it literally cast a shadow. <laughs> and then there was two. And my old lady friend said, once I get over 40, I should really start investing in a really good beard trimmer. So, <laughs> there's that to look forward to. That's great. Um, so, okay, once I get the hair, like, all off and under control, Apparently, I then have to put some of it back on. Okay, like two hours for lashes, anybody? You know, the individual ones. But I draw the line at tattooing back on my eyebrows. I figure if I want to go that route, I'll just get a Sharpie. It's way cheaper and it has the same effect. See, I see a couple of you are angry about that out there, ladies. <laughs> I mean, these lights are bright, but they really come through. <laughs> All right, let's move on to something later. Uh, firefighters, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I literally give myself whiplash trying to find the source of the siren. Where are the hunks? Uh, I bought the calendar every year and uh, really love that. You know, it's good to support our firefighters. <clears throat> That's the only reason. <laughs> Until the fall of 2016, when I got the new year, and I opened that baby up to see what hunk was going to be on my birthday, and lo and behold, it was my baby brother. <laughs> he really tombstone that fantasy. <laughs> I'm a middle child, so rebel. That's right. Who needs therapy? <laughs> I'm also adopted, so I've got this fear of abandonment. It was really confusing growing up for my whole family. There was a lot of, you know, screw you guys, beat it, whatever, and uh, wait, where are you going? <laughs> Why don't you love me? <laughs> my poor mom, yeah. She's a really great woman though. I'm successful today because of how she raised me. Woo yeah, shout out to my mom. Her name is Karen, and uh, she's really offended by this new horrible misuse of her name. She really was, actually, quite embarrassed about it. And I told her not to worry about it, she just had to stop telling off her neighbors every time they called her Karen. <laughs> So I own my own business. I, I'm really hoping that that's gonna help my stand-up career. I mean, will you guys like to laugh twice as hard at me if you know that I'm twice as broke, angry, and desperate as the rest of the time? I've had to learn how to close a deal. Uh, I know that it's gonna take hundreds of leads, worked over months just to get one new client. And uh, naturally, I've applied that to my dating life. <laughs> I know, uh, so I use three apps, and I know, <laughs> I know that it's going to take me 3,000 swipes and 13 first dates if I'm going to get any action. By <laughs> good, uh, good men aren't really that hard to find, though. 
It's just the wives that get in the way? Yeah. Uh, easy, ma'am. <laughs> For the record, they were on a break. <laughs> All right. So, uh, single people, I've got a math equation for you. Any single people in the crowd tonight? Uh, yeah, so you take half your age, uh, and then you add seven back on. Okay, some of you have already done this math. Half your age plus seven. And I'm 38, I know. Uh, so my number is 26, and that's how young a guy I can date if I want to. <laughs> and you know what? I found that it's really quite the perfect age to be because if I'm not into him, then I can date his dad. <laughs> as long as he's not older than 62, because then I can do that. Uh, I do worry sometimes that owning my own job intimidates guys. And uh, I did tell a guy once that I'm also into stand up. That date did not go so well. <laughs> he got all, oh, am I going to be in your act? <laughs> yeah, Kevin, that joke was about you. <laughs> and it's time to, you know, narrow down the roster to one lucky guy to ride that second wave with. <laughs> and this guy should like to do the things that I like to do, so... Mostly Netflix and nap. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> and when I do find this guy, I really don't know what to call him, but I know for sure that I'm not calling him my old man. Mm -mm. Because if I do that, he's gonna be all like, oh yeah, here's my old lady. <laughs> I'm not anybody's old lady. I only have two black chin hairs. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much.